Today is my next PET scan for after starting our new treatment. So we are up super early. For whatever reason, they always book me in so early for these things. So we're up early. Courtney's going to drop me off. Takes about two hours and then she can't pick me up because of the radiation dye that gets injected into me. Um, is a little bit too dangerous, especially when you're pregnant. So I can't be around pregnant people or little kids, basically. If you've ever had a PET scan before, you've got to go on a glucose restricted diet because the PET scan actually picks up where the bad cells feed on glucose um, or use glucose for energy. So you go on a glucose restriction for 24 hours before and you fast from 12 hours before and the only thing you can have is water in that time. Then they infuse a like a radiation, a radiated, radioactive, whatever you call it, glucose dye into you and then they scan you through the machine and the glucose dye shows everywhere where the disease is. So we're hoping for a better looking scan today. Um, so that'll be done in a couple of hours and hopefully we'll have some good images. I forgot to mention as well, I'm also getting a pick line put in my arm today. On this side, they put it up here somewhere. Uh, I've been trying to survive this whole process without getting a pick line because it's like a, a port that apparently sticks in your arm for them to take blood from and do chemo with and everything. But unfortunately, because of the toxicity of the chemo, I've had this big vein you can see bulging out of my forearm just there it sort of collapsed and it's got a blood clot in it so I've had to bite the bullet and get booked in for a pick line it's a bit of a pain in the ass because it stays in all the time and you've got to cover it up when you shower but I've been a bit of a grub lately anyway I only shower every couple of days because I don't really do much and it's cold um, and it's just sort of much easier than having to get um i thought i could cope with it because i don't mind needles but when you i'm like now consistently with a new diagnosis going in like three four times a week because i got to get one round of chemo then i got to go in and get blood tests between that within seven days and i go on a second round of chemo and then I've got to go in for a blood, blood test after that because I've got to check my platelets and I've got to make sure my platelets don't drop too low and potentially get blood transfusions. I didn't need blood transfusions this time around, luckily. Um, but, you know, I, never, I might need the next round. So, pick line. It's at 3 o'clock today. Not looking forward to it, but it has to be done. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm on a traumatic day too now. You having a traumatic day? What happened? I'm going to go to the dentist. Oh yeah, she cracked a tooth last night. Mm. Apparently, it happens a lot with pregnant people. I've been to the dentist for seven years, or six years. Yeah, I didn't go to the dentist for five, but my teeth are perfect. But yours are falling apart, aren't they? You okay? You get traumatized. Mm. It's okay. At least you don't have cancer. Mm. At least you're not pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> That's as far back as it goes. Yeah, that's why I said there's not much room. Baby seat now. You can probably clip it out. My big legs in from there. That's why I said you're on top. Just like to point out how trendy I am. Courtney's given me this lovely blue baby bag to take my stuff in for the PET scan. And I'm also wearing matching blue shoes. And a matching blue beanie. And I realized that the jumper having the cars and take with me is also blue. That's my favourite colour. So <laughs> when I rock up to the scan they're like, oh it's the blue band group. <laughs> That's alright, I've got a hole in my pants. So I'm not very trendy today, but in all honesty I've never been really trendy. So you can ask my mate George, he always says I look like shit. But I don't really care. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> 
It's not funny. Well, blood, everything. Yeah. My shoes are the exact same colour. <laughs> and your, your back and your back's going to be so good. I can't wait till you get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just the blue man today. <laughs> what? You look like a. Um, what are those? Blue characters? The blue man group? No. Plus a Smurf. A Smurf. <laughs> Good. Beautiful. Awesome, boy. All blue enough? Mate, you're just yourself. I didn't know anything to do with this. Yeah, well. Hi. Hi, darling. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit full on, isn't it? You're sleeping that. Hey. Sleeping that you poor thing. Pretty much. Mm. Got me pick line in. Hey. So, gotta live with this thing for the next few months. So, I'll take the bandage off, I'll show you what it looks like. Thanks for picking me up. It's okay. Took all of about 10 minutes to do. Oh, think. really? It's an hour. Well, I was in and out in like 15 minutes. Done and dusted. And then I had to go out and get education on how to keep it dry. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I got back sort of late last night after getting the pick line done. Um, so it's a bit dark, so I finished up filming. So I thought I would finish off uh, what I was talking about yesterday. So I got the PET scan and also got the pick line in. It's fun, it's a little bit sore. I'll run through what that's like later. But um, when you sort of have a, a PET scan, what happens is they put in a radioactive dye, which also is a glucose based dye. So they like infuse it uh, into like over an hour in a room that's almost like a bomb shelter. Um, obviously because there's radiation, the people that work there every day need to be protected from the radiation, so when you're in the room, you sort of get infused over a long period of time. Um, it's so the, the radioactive glucose can kind of get into where any inflammatory or cancerous cells are, so then once you go through the big magnet machine, it kind of picks up where everything is. So I'll show you what that looks like on the scan. I don't think I've shown this before, but I've got my previous scans here from when I was first diagnosed. After the first two months of treatment, it didn't work. And then my scans from yesterday as well. And I'll show you what they look like, what the difference is. There's not much difference between... Um, now, if you get in a PET scan, you look at it yourself, because they always give you the films, like, um, there's a few things you got to remember, like your brain stores glucose and you store glucose in your bladder as well, I believe. So um, what happens is it's this dark image with your kind of body and skeleton, your organs, which you see, and then sort of any type of diseased area or area that uses or glucose for energy will light up. So in my case, obviously, the cancer metabolizes off glucose, so that shows up on the scan and it's usually all bright red depending on where it is and how much it is and but you also have to keep in mind if it's something you look at without you know having the doctor's diagnosis I've been through it a couple of times now so I know what I'm looking for and what they've showed me but your brain will always show up bright red because it uses glucose and your bladder will as well so people freak out and look at that and go oh, I've got brain cancer and I've got cancer in my bladder but that's not the case so I'll show you what my scans look like and it's always confronting for me to look at these because of the amount of disease that I've had. When you look at it, it's pretty full on. Um, you look at it and you freak out a little bit because it's kind of everywhere and it's kind of really bulky. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like and we'll compare them. So 
Which one's first? So this is my diagnosis PET scan. So all that area other than my brain and the little patch right in the middle down the bottom so you can see in my right leg there all through my stomach all my spleen area on that left side of my body all through my spine up into my chest and my chest wall and armpit there so all that red area there that's all lymphoma so then obviously we did two rounds of chemo didn't know how it was working and this was then my follow-up scan which was in April after two cycles so basically no better no worse pretty much identical maybe even a little bit worse in some areas so yeah that's when we get to the freak out period when doctors are like well there's no changes there that's what it looks like and doesn't seem to be the treatments working so sort of keep this image in your mind here and now we're on the right course with the new treatment um, discovering what exactly type of lymphoma I have and the type of treatment I'm going through so you look at that, that scan was about 3-4 weeks ago and this was yesterday's so I mean that's like a 70 to 80 percent improvement which obviously we're super stoked about and the difference between the two, Let's see if I can put them sort of side by side. So this is a month ago, and this is yesterday. So obviously I was a little bit stoked and relieved when I saw that type of response after one round of this new treatment. So I've still got another three cycles to go, as well as a stem cell transplant, but that is obviously a good sign of moving in the right direction which is really kind of relieving for once I guess and um, yeah that's it I'll finish it up there I'll show you what my pick line looks like at another time couldn't be bothered doing that right now it's pretty sore don't want to take the dressing off um, so thanks for all the comments and all the positive stuff over the last few days after the couple of videos I've put out and people really kind of getting behind me and giving me some positive encouragement um, you know it's very much appreciated and much love to everybody that kind of reaches out and says something awesome and positive all those little things kind of help um, and now it looks like also we're on the right path which is super relieving for me and the family so let's just hope it improves from here and I'll keep you updated I start second round tomorrow so I'm probably going to have a pretty average next 14 days or so so I'm not sure how many videos I'll get out but um, I'll wrap this one up there and thanks for watching as always guys links in the description for any donations never expected um, and also like and subscribe if this is the first time you've kind of come across the channel and follow me through this awesome journey thanks guys